y'all i am going to make laundry detergent i've made it before i used it works great um and then i would recommend using whatever fabric softener you use just so the clothes smell fresh because this cleans them but it doesn't give them a unique smell good or bad so um, what we're going to do is use washing soda you can get this kind of where all the laundry detergent is um, and we're only going to use like a few tablespoons uh, so this stuff I don't know it's 55 ounces so it will last forever if you're going to use this only to make um, laundry detergent so then you also need borax and I think that's also a few tablespoons I'll call out the instructions and put them in the description below so you'll be able to see really how much you use of each use the original dawn detergent um, the blue stuff that's the good stuff not the foaming not any other scents but this okay and get a gallon jug um, and I use a funnel because I'm going to stick the stuff in there and it mostly it's just a few tablespoons of this or that some water and that's it um, and I'm going to use lukewarm water so it helps dissolve these uh, detergents so um, stay with me just a second okay so I filled this up about halfway with lukewarm water first then I added three tablespoons of borax three tablespoons of washing powder and I used this funnel here to just kind of help it flow into there very easily I put the lid on it I have this is the kind of lid it came with so I held on tight just to make sure it didn't pop off and I shook it um, until it dissolved some but I think you can see there's a little bit of sediment at the bottom still but um, the, the warmth of the water should help dissolve that now the reason that's why I added this water but what I'm going to do is add more water to it at the last minute I'm going to put in the two tablespoons of Dawn dish detergent because as we all know once you start adding water to detergent like that it's going to start foaming up and that's not what I want because then it'll be mostly full of foam and I won't be able to fill it up with water so that's just me being smart hopefully you'll be just as smart um, what I was gonna say about the lid is you know I, this works fine but personally I like the screw on lids just because I feel like it's more secure if you're gonna shake it um, so anyway uh, talk to you in a minute okay guys so you can see it's blue now I added two tablespoons of Dawn dish detergent um, this is really good with helping to get out some grease stains that um, I've seen come out. I think it's the Dawn that does it, but um, I just gently poured it in the top, put the lid on it, and I shook it as it settled to the bottom. So as you start to use this detergent, I'd say probably, you know, each time you use it, maybe just to make sure nothing settled, give it a little bit of a shake first. Use a half a cup to a cup of detergent for each load. That should be sufficient. And... Um, one thing I was going to say is don't leave this on top of your dryer. I did that. It didn't melt it, but somehow it did degrade the bottom just a little bit, so it started to leak out. So um, just keep it where it stays at a normal temperature. I hope you enjoy this video, and let me know how it works out. Please subscribe for future videos. Take care.